Hey, Mike and Mike's Bags. Today I'm reviewing the Zero Hour by Rocket Bags. Just last week I reviewed the Stage One by Rocket Bags, and if you if you haven't seen the review, go check it out after this video. If you have, you'll know I really like that bag. I really enjoy throwing it. Well, the Zero Hours I like even better, and, and maybe I should put a spoiler alert in there. Sorry, spoiler alert here, but I really like the Zero Hours for good reason. They're they're two very popular materials on it. It's a wonderful fill in there. It has a nice hand feel, a nice fullness to it. This is a bag I think a lot of you have been asking about. A lot of you have been looking for. So let's go ahead, let's dive in i'll tell you all about these bags and why you should probably go get yourself a set of these we'll start with the materials slow side of zero hours is a hybrid material it's that same slow side that you find on the viper r the killer bees r might swag bags chaos reynolds thunder lucky pro sniper elite the list can go on and on there's quite a few bags using material for good reason wonderful material very whole friendly for the control you get with it it's a very versatile material i call it a five speed it's probably more like a five and a half it's kind of that faster five so five and a half speed on the slow side that's great material for for running bags in the hole it's also got some control where you throw some blockers up there and play a little bit more of a dirty style game so like I said, it has a ton of versatility to it five and a half speed slow side fast side this is the this is the same material that's on the viper r fast side but it's the flip the reverse side of that this is the same fast side you find on the game changer or the surefire it's that eight and a half speed i call it it's just a touch more controllable than the other side of it i kind of like this side of the material a little better it's a little more texture to it like i said it's a little more control so it's fast it's great for for pushing and collecting blocks cleaning up messes on the board it's a wonderful fast side material it's probably one of them, it's one of the more popular fast side materials out there so looking about a five and a half eight speed on the zero hour bag template wise this is a medium template bag the fullness i'm gonna call it a medium amount of full of fill in here but it's on the fuller side of medium so this is this is fuller than a lot of your hybrid style bags are the bag still has flop to it. anything with these two materials these materials are gonna get some stretch to them they're gonna get flop so this bag has some flop to it it is not an overly floppy bag but it does have flop it doesn't have the looseness that you get with some of these larger template bags some of these thinner bags it doesn't have that looseness so it gives the bag a wonderful hand feel you grab it you've got a ton of feel to grab a hold of grip i can get my butterfly grip i can lock this bag down no problem it's not wobbly it's not moving it's no slop to it whatsoever i love the hand feel of this bag it, it, it's really wonderful and for those of you who like fuller bags but like the benefit of a floppy bag the forgiveness of a floppy bag i think you're going to love these zero hours the fill in here is a mixed fill it's got some flat fill mixed with some round fill in here as well i really love the fill if you've watched my reviews you know i'm a huge fan of mixed fill bags because the mixed fill gives you the best of both worlds right the, the, the flat fill it's very forgiving landing it, it takes away a lot of that balance a lot of that punishing kick that you get with an all round fill in there but flat fill tends to hang on the hole. So you add that round fill. Round fill is very hole friendly. So you get the hole friendliness around the hole, but you get the forgiveness in the landing. I love the fill that, that Rocket Bags has put in this bag. I really love the way, the way it plays in this bag. You still have control for shot shaping with it, but it's not overly balanced, overly active. So it's not gonna punish if you don't throw a perfectly flat bag. These zero hours are ACO stamps. So if you play in ACO events, you can throw these bags. Let's go ahead and jump in and talk about playability on this. And as I mentioned, it's it's a very versatile bag. Most of these hybrid materials, the beauty of them is the versatility you have with them, the control you have with them. Yeah, they're still very hole friendly. And this, this R material is definitely all of that. So you have the ability to get up there and run bags in the hole. If you just want to put your four bags in, outscore your opponent, you can definitely do that. And this is this is on the faster side of these hybrid materials, because like I said, it's a faster five. So it really is, in my mind, for my style of play i tend to like to throw a little slower bags i i pulled this out when i really want to just go hole for hole and outscore my opponent but it still has the control where you can put that blocker up there every now and then if you want to throw a third bag blocker or you want to play a dirty round maybe you're behind the round you need to manufacture some points you want to put some blockers up there or maybe you're just getting an opponent you just want to kind of get in their head and change things up on them and keep them guessing you can definitely do so you have plenty of control to throw blockers with this material and because of the fullness of the bag it's great at collecting this this bag doesn't accordion up like a floppy bag does so if you put a blocker up there you're just clipping a corner you're taking it right in it does a phenomenal job of that in fact i collect most of the time on the slow side of this bag really the only time i'm going over to fast side is if i've got multiple bags up there which plenty of speed in this fast side to push through and collect two or three bags if you need to or if it's my last bag i want to make sure i push and follow through that's when i'm going fast side but honestly this slow side is plenty fast enough for me and the way i throw to come down and collect most bags and because of the collectability you can get really aggressive putting that blocker more on your opponent's side you know you can just come down if you need to the last bag fast side come down the middle clip it take it in if you get too aggressive go too far over maybe miss your landing and land a little more more a little more your opponent's side you want to you've got the ability to throw a cut shot come over throw a cut grab the bag pull it back in 
you've got the ability with this bag to roll and flop. So shot shaping, cuts, rolls, flops. This bag does a great job of that. And even if you're not the best at rolling, like you're kind of an average to above average rollback thrower or cuts or flops or whatever, I really think you can do this. Bag has enough movement, enough bounce to it that I think it works really well. Maybe not the best bag to learn on because it is a little forgiving in the landing, but I really had no problem. Like I, I don't throw a lot of rolls and flops. I throw mostly cuts. I had no problem throwing cuts this bag and getting those aggressive cuts. Like I would give the little stickier carpet bag i can really get that aggressiveness and get around it but still have the whole friendliness that, that i don't get with those sticky carpet bags so it really combines that fast bag slow bag world into one and gives you a nice middle ground bag and, and and that's the beauty of these hybrid materials especially this R material that's why players love it so much is because of that versatility and that control you get with it so definitely have the control for the shot shaping you have the control for throwing blockers up there and playing a dirty style game if you want to but you've also got the speed and the whole friendliness to play that hole for hole style game running bags in the hole which makes this zero hour bag awesome for blind draws if you play a lot of blind draws you play in a lot of events where you're getting random partners or getting part of different people or maybe you play in a league where you're throw you throw a a slow bag and everybody else throws a fast bag or you throw a fast bag or a slow any of those situations this bag is great because it kind of bridges the gap between those two as i mentioned so you get a partner who throws a different style game maybe they throw fast bags you're throwing slow bags you can pull this out they can still run bags in the hole with their with this bag no problem with all they don't have to change the throw at all and still have success with this where you can still play your dirty style game and 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 your cuts your rolls your flops your shot shape and your blocks all that stuff with this bag and you can both can play those style games and not have to compromise on your on your gameplay or like i said do you play in a league where you throw carpet i hear it all the time i get a lot of people with mexico all the time hey i throw carpet i throw slow bags but no one in my league wants to throw those bags with me that's where a bag like this really shines because again you have the feel of it you have the fullness of it you have the control that you would with your slow style game but you can if you get your partner your partner whoever it is to throw this back i think they're gonna love it even if they're not a carpet bag and i, I think these hybrid materials a lot of times get categorized as carpet and and, and i've tried to get away from it. i used to call them hybrid carpets they're not carpet they're, they're hybrid because they're 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 part polypropylene which is a carpet material and part polyester which is your non-carpet so this is just as much a non-carpet as it is a carpet material so it's really it, that's why it's a hybrid it's a combination of the two and so if you get your your partners to throw this even if they're not carpet throwers throw this i think they're going to realize they like them most players that, that, that and that's why these hybrid materials are becoming so popular is because of the versatility you have with them and because they do fill that gap of all the different play styles so if you plan it if you throw carpet bags and you get in, you're in a league or you go to events where other your, your partners other players just refuse to throw carpet bring along a hybrid bag like the zero hour pull it out just get them to throw a few rounds again and play like one game with it i think you'll find out if they throw it they're going to like it it's, it's just a wonderful playing bag regardless of what style play that you do or what style of game you want to play so anyway love the love zero hour can't recommend these bags enough i had a blast on them put a lot of bags in the hole with them let's go ahead and jump in and talk about availability and rocket bags has a website rocketcornholebags.com i'll put a link down description as always for you guys the bags were 69.99 for a set 70 dollars for a set of bags it was 7.99 shipping so eight dollars so 78 dollars shipped to you phenomenal price for a, a high quality bag like this it's definitely a bag if you've been thinking about getting into the hybrid world if you've been interested in trying out this R material, but you haven't done it yet. Maybe you're a fan of the Viper R's. You don't like kind of how sloppy, floppy they are. You're wanting a fuller feeling bag. Maybe you throw those materials, but you've been looking for an ACO version. Whatever it is, it's it's $78 shipped to you. These zero hours are definitely worth the gamble and take a chance on. I think you're going to love them if you throw them as much as I have. If you've thrown it, let me know. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Always love hearing you guys' opinions on these bags. I thank you so much for your support, and I thank you for watching.